you know, we're not just any other baking or cooking school. It's this whole interactive experience. I'm Kristen Baker Betty Hoffman and I am the owner and head chef instructor here at Betty's Chicago. Betty's Chicago is a brand new 1950s themed event space and baking school in the River North neighborhood of downtown Chicago. We host weekly date night events, baking classes, and private parties. So we've been doing a lot of corporate events, birthday parties, baby showers, anything you might want to celebrate, we can host you for. The path to opening Betty's Chicago has been a really winding one. I started this business 11 years ago, really as a hobby. It started out as a food blog. I started BakerBetty.com in November of 2011, and I was really just looking for a reason to be baking. I loved to bake. I had started a cookie company a few years before that kind of took off faster than I knew what to do with and quickly realized that I did not want to be a production baker. So I started Baker Betty as a hobby, as a blog. And I was really shy at the time. I don't think that I wanted people to know my true identity. And I've always had an affinity for the 1950s aesthetic. So I came up with this alter ego of Baker Betty to be sort of my online persona. And it took off a lot faster than I ever thought it would. I didn't think anybody would ever read what I wrote, but people did start reading it and it quickly turned into my business. And over the years, I started doing all of the things that all content creators do. I started a YouTube channel, started creating a lot of content on social media. We're really active on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and all the places that creators post their content. But a few years ago, I decided I really wanted to start teaching in person. So we started renting out some spaces around the Chicago area for me to host live in-person classes. And I just loved it so much. I loved getting in person with people and being able to be hands-on with somebody and walk them through the process because there's only so much you can teach somebody through written word. And even while video tutorials are more helpful than written word, there's just nothing like being able to be right there with somebody and showing them exactly what the technique is like. Um, but that all got shut down with COVID hitting. And so for a few years, we weren't doing any in-person classes. We were still doing some virtual classes. But once things started opening up a little more, I decided that I really wanted to start looking for my own space to be able to teach out of. So at the beginning of 2022, we started looking around the city for a space that I could teach out of, that we could host events out of, but we also needed a studio space. We needed a place where we could be filming for YouTube and social media because I don't want to be doing that in my house anymore. We've been running this business from my house for the last 11 years and it was definitely time to have some separation and put everything that we do into one space. And we looked at quite a few properties. We looked at some that had been restaurants previously. We looked at some that were completely raw that would need to be built out. But then we found this space. It actually used to be a coffee shop. So we were lucky in that the initial layout of the space was really perfect for what we wanted to do. There was not a lot of construction that needed to be done. Most everything we wanted to do was completely aesthetic, which as a first time brick and mortar owner, I think that that was definitely the right choice for us. It is a stressful process even when you have great, amazing people around you helping you. So I'm really glad that we decided to go that route. Our build out process ended up being very fast. Once construction started, we were open in about six weeks. So pretty quickly when I got into this process, I knew that I should probably hire a designer. I had a really clear vision, but bringing that to life is definitely not my forte and I knew they would have a much better experience in being able to make it happen. So I started searching around the Chicago area for different designers. I pretty quickly stumbled upon Siren Betty Design here in Chicago, and we all worked really closely together to bring this vision to life. 
and I was so excited that they really understood what I meant when I didn't want it to go to a cheesy place. Because I think whenever you design something to look like the 1950s, it can go really cheesy and kind of fake looking. And I didn't want to go there and they totally got that. I really wanted it to look more authentic and kind of lived in and I think we absolutely accomplished that. So I've kind of always had this dream that I wanted to own a 1950s diner. I grew up with parents who were huge vintage collectors and our whole house was decorated in vintage decor and we had a 1950s jukebox and a 1950s coke machine and I think growing up around those things have just you know kind of instilled in me this affinity for the 1950s aesthetic. I have worked in enough restaurants to know that I definitely don't want to own a restaurant or run a restaurant. So I think this idea of building out Betty's to look like a 1950s diner is sort of my way of being able to have the best of both worlds. So each week during the week, we usually have some date night classes. They're a little more casual. You can come and make gnocchi or pizza or whatever it is we're making for the week with your partner or you can bring your best friend or you can even come solo. You don't have to bring a date. And then on the weekends, we're doing more kind of intensive classes. So we'll do um, pie making classes or cake making classes or we do a lot of bread baking classes and sourdough and it's this really fun experience. You know, we're not just any other baking or cooking school. It's this whole interactive experience. So when you come into the space, we have a entry area that looks kind of like a mid-century living room. We have a really cute vintage bar set up. We have a lounge area with vintage couches. And then of course we had to have a 1950s TV playing some black and white videos of me teaching baking. And then when you come into the main part of the space, you'll be set up at the diner counter to bake or cook whatever it is we're making in class that day. And then we have the really cute diner booth set up so that you can sit down and enjoy whatever it is we made in class. And it's just this really fun interactive experience. We also decided that instead of having the YouTube filming studio be something that's kind of closed to the public, and only used by us, we wanted it to be part of the experience. So we have it set up like a 1950s kitchen, but we also decided to put a little photo booth set up there with it. And you can take some pictures with the cake or pie that you made or whatever it is you made in class, and you'll have a little memento to take home with you after you leave. So we were able to open the space up for our first class on August 20th, 2022. It was so exciting to finally welcome people in, see their excitement about the space, see them interact with everything, and to finally get to teach some baking classes in person again. We have not been doing that for a few years, so it was so exciting to finally do that again. And pretty much since the day we opened our doors, we have been so busy. People are so excited to come here. We are pretty much 100% word of mouth. We have not had to spend any money on advertising. People are really excited about the place and sharing it on social media, and we are so grateful for that. So my hope for Betty Chicago is that when you come here, you feel really welcome. You feel as though you're having this really fun, interactive experience that is super memorable for you and that you learn a lot. We really try to be super supportive in whatever it is that we're teaching while you're here and that you leave here feeling really confident to make it at home. So if you're in the Chicago area or if you're visiting the Chicago area, we would love to host you for a class and event. You can see all of our up coming classes on bettyschicago.com or you can follow Betty's Chicago on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, and you will see updates about everything that's coming up.